Hi there, and welcome to Mark My Words. If this is your first time to this channel, welcome to you. You might want to consider subscribing to this channel because on this channel, we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. If you've been through a, a life setback, whether it be a relationship or financial setback, You've landed on the right channel. Hopefully everything we do here is going to add value to your comeback journey because your best days are ahead regardless of what you're feeling right now. And you might be feeling completely overwhelmed by what's happened to you, what's happened in you and what's happened around you. Because when you go through a, uh, you know, a relationship setback, a long-term relationship that is no longer there, there's an incredible adjustment period that takes place within your life. I know for me, that was certainly the case. It took me a while to adjust to the new world of being single after a long, long relationship. And on top of that, I had to go through the financial fallout of that as well with a business collapse and the consequential financial demands that a relationship breakdown, separation, divorce brings. So if you're there or some element of that, I know how you feel. So today's video is all about you rebuilding and one element on the rebuilding journey is to make sure that the foundation you're rebuilding on is solid. So we want to be thinking about rebuilding on rock and not on sand. Now, what do I mean by that? One of the key elements to rebuilding and making a mighty comeback in your life is to make sure that you are authentic and genuine in who you are and how you communicate to yourself and to others. Those two, the communication to yourself in your private world and to others in your public world, have to line up and be the same. So often you have, and I went through this for a while too, where I was trying to project uh, uh, an image out there in the real world uh, after my marriage and business collapse that everything was okay, I'll be okay, I'm doing better than I really am. And that was one image, but underneath the reality of it was I was struggling in more ways than one. And so there was a gap between the reality and the public projection. And that gap caused a lot of stress in my life. And ultimately, you know, people who knew me well could see right through it. Just like people who you know, who you know well and who know you well uh, can see right through yours as well. If you're trying to project this image that everything's okay and I'm okay and um, you're smiling when deep down you're actually in a lot of pain, Kudos to you, and I admire that courage, but ultimately, to rebuild on a solid foundation, the private philosophy and the public performance have to marry up and be the same authentic you, both privately and publicly. So how do you do that? I, I think it's, you know, I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about uh, getting around in public in your undies, <laughs> necessarily, but I am talking about getting around in public being really at peace with who you are sooner or later. And it's hard when you're going through a tough time. It's really hard when your whole world's falling down around your ears and you are at the same time trying to be happy in your own skin because the bottom line is, and the truth is, you're not. <laughs> uh, because it's hurting, you're in pain. And, you know, I, I completely relate to that. But there comes a day when you make a decision. And you make a decision based on the fact that Okay, I can't change the past. I cannot change the past at all, right? But what I can do is control how I feel right now and my view towards the future. So today is day one in your rebuilding journey. So from day one, you know, I had to do a number of things. I had to, do, had to forgive for those who needed forgiveness in my past who I felt it hurt me. I had to rule off, just like in primary school when the teacher said, grab your ruler and your red pen and turn a new page and rule off on the previous page, turn a fresh page. I had to rule off and turn a fresh page in my life and look towards my future. I had to make a decision that I was going to make some intentional goals around what I wanted for myself, even though I had nothing left. 
I had lost my assets, I had lost my cash, I had lost my family, I had lost my kids, I lost my business. I know it's a tough, it's a tough situation, and uh, you might be in the same place, right? But I was going to accept that for what it was, right? But then decide consciously that tomorrow is a new day. Today is day one, and I'm either going to stay in this place of pain, or I'm going to be intentional around making some decisions around focusing on the future and rebuilding and to start small and to give myself time to rebuild, a time to grow, time to um, strengthen myself in the areas of my life that I need strengthening. I need to get some two or three good people around me, people who I trusted and who, you know, who knew me a little bit and who could breathe and, and speak life into my situation and to encourage me. I wasn't looking for a, people who would agree with everything I wanted to do necessarily, uh, but I was looking for two or three good mentor type people who um, who ideally had been through a similar life setback or a life setback and who had applied some principles in their own life that they found work that I could learn from and glean from and apply those same principles to my life that I could see work. These are the sorts of guys I needed around me, two or three, right? And so I started to rebuild one day at a time, and it's a decision, okay? To match up your public persona or your public image with your private, the public you and the private you have to be one. And the benefit of that is that you don't have to try and be two people. I I know that might sound simple, but just be one person, the authentic you. The word authenticity literally means to be genuine and to be real. And so that's the best way to be because that's the real you. That's the true you. And, you know, people love that part of you. They love that you, the authentic, real you. But for some reason, people sense there is not something right completely with someone who's trying to be someone they're not. So can I encourage you today to make sure your public you and your private you are the same person. Because then when you start to rebuild and take those steps forward to rebuild emotionally, rebuild financially, rebuild your career and or your business, and maybe just maybe even one day rebuild your relationship, maybe not with the same person, but with someone new. You want to be healthy when that right person comes along. Don't settle for second best with someone who is seeing a broken you right? And you are not coping with the isolation of loneliness and you settle for anyone because that's going to end in more tears for you. Did you hear what I just said? I hope you heard it because it's amazing what people do to try and relieve the isolation pain. They end up with in relationships that aren't healthy and end up in more pain. So give yourself time to succeed. Give yourself time to heal. Give yourself time to get used to winning again by taking one step at a time, one step forward, one day at a time, having some small goals, going out and starting to focus on those and putting some steps forward to having small goals towards accomplishment, toward the bigger vision of what you want your future to look like. You'll build your confidence. You'll build your inner you and those two people, the public and the private, become one. There's less stress in your life and you'll fast track your comeback in ways that will just impress you in the in the long run. But the key here is that your best days are ahead, regardless of what level of pain you're in right now. But give yourself time. Okay, give yourself so critical that you give yourself time. Get some good people around you, get some good material going in that you're reading, good material that you're listening to, and some good people around you. Because those three elements of input will have more of an impact on how you end up in 12 months or two years and five years even than than anything else will. What you listen to, what you read and who you hang around. Okay, And give yourself time. Be authentic. Be true to yourself. The public you and the private you are the same. You do that and I promise you, you'll fast track your comeback. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notifications button so that way when we upload a new video, you'll be up to date with all that's happening here on the channel. And in addition to that, you'll notice in the descriptions panel below, I've got a couple of links. They're just resources that they're yours today free. One of those is 
my 10 breakthrough steps. They're 10 breakthrough steps that I adopted in my own life to help me fast track my comeback where today, you know, I've completely rebuilt my life family-wise, financially, physically, mentally, and spiritually in a better place now than ever. You can do the same thing. Those 10 breakthrough steps on the link in the descriptions panel below are yours today free. And you apply those to your world, I promise you they'll have the same impact on your life as they've had on mine. The other link there you'll see is a, a link to my webinar. It's called Comeback Heroes Webinar. And it's a webinar I put together free again. Have a look at that. There's some information on there that I think will add value to your life, particularly if you're looking to rebuild your world and rebuild your life and you are serious about doing that. So until next time, thanks for joining me today. Your best days are ahead. Don't forget it. We'll see you on the next video.